Hey everyone, Wiggles here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Where Winds Meet with a controller. If you're playing on PlayStation, you're already doing this, but you are able to use this method for PC and for the phone. It's really simple to do, but the game doesn't show you, so I just wanted to make this video for you. All right, let's just jump right into it. So by far, the easiest way to connect any controller to your PC or your phone is by using a cord for that controller and plugging it into that device directly. So you could do this for the PC or for the phone. Many times I've had it, it has to be like a USB-C to a USB-C to work sometimes. So if the cord wasn't working for you, maybe try swapping out the cord and then it might work. If you don't have the cord around, you are able to connect this through Bluetooth as well. So all you'd have to do is go into your Bluetooth settings for your computer, in here, I have all these different devices. All you'd have to do is just go to add device and then do Bluetooth. Now take the controller that you wanna play on and then use the pair button. So I just held the pair button for a few seconds and it just showed up. Now it's connected via Bluetooth. And you can check if it's working just by staying in this screen and then you can like move it around on your controller and just make sure that it's working. Right now I'm just moving this on my controller and it's working perfectly fine. If it wasn't working fine, chances are you might have this controller set up already and it might not be working. So you can go down all the way and you might be able to find the controller in here. So if you go down to other devices, there'll be all these ones maybe not connected, one of these being that controller, and then you could go remove device. There's a good chance that's happening if you do have to debug any kind of issue. I've had it happen with many controllers in the past, so go check that. But pretty much setting up to Bluetooth is very simple. Doing this on your phone is really easy as well. You pretty much just go into your settings, head on over to the Bluetooth section in your settings, and then you'll be able to connect the controller in here. It is better to connect this one through the cord just for reducing any kind of input lag, but you are able to do it through Bluetooth as well. So you can see I have this pro controller already selected. Same thing, if it wasn't working for you, it might be showing up in your like not connected devices here but you could always just disconnect this or forget this device if you really need to. And doing this process is the exact same. So I'll just forget this device just to show you. Pretty much just hold the sync button on the controller. So it doesn't matter what controller you're using and then you'll see it pop up like that. Same thing as the PC, it should just start connecting right away. You aren't able to check if it's working in this, but you are able to just directly go into where winds meet on your phone and check it that way. Once you have the device connected, you can see I'm on PC still, so I have my cursor here. As soon as you press any button on the controller, it'll start taking over. So you can see now, since I'm playing on a controller, it's showing what buttons do what. It is connecting the Switch controller to an Xbox One controller though, which isn't ideal. So there are a couple ways to fix that. This doesn't only apply for the Switch controllers, this would help for any kind of controller. So if you go into your settings, just go, into your main menu and then head on over to this cogwheel. In here, just swap one to the controller tab. And then you can see in here, this is how you could change all your button layouts. They have full layouts and you're able to do like a custom layout as well. So you can make any skill whatever you want. It gets really nitty gritty, so it's really great. There's like so much to this. You can also do those combinations. So there's a lot of things that you can customize while you're playing this game. At the bottom here, this is the customize area. So you can customize any kind of shortcut you want. So if you do want like the mystic scale to be a specific thing, you can just map everything in here. Other than that, there's things like the vibration. So if it's too vibrating for you, you can always turn it down. Dynamic aiming is always useful. And then a couple other things like sensitivity, which are really important for the controller. So there's a lot of different settings in here. You can even change up the function wheel settings here. So that's when you, so yeah, go through this and find what's right for you. But if you're not too sure, and let's say like you're like me, you're playing on the Pro Controller, which isn't mapped in here. If I was playing with a PlayStation controller and I did this, it would immediately map everything to not these like A, B, Y, and X buttons. It would do like the square and the triangle and stuff. And if I was to do the Xbox controller, these buttons would just already be correct. So this isn't correct for a Switch controller. And maybe you're playing on a custom controller and that's the same thing. The best thing you can do here is either do the custom layouts, so you could individually do this, which could take some time, but if you are playing on Steam, you can open up Steam and you can see this little section right here for the controller. If you go enable Steam input, then it will override some of the controller settings. And you can change the layout based on a template that the community's already made. You can see here, these are the default templates, but if you go over to the community layouts, this is super helpful. So the first one is Switch Pro Gyro. There's also Switch Gamepad. I'm gonna try this one and just apply the layout. 
There's also a lot of different ones in here. So if you are playing on a specific controller, you might be able to search it in here and there might be something perfect for you. But it looks like most of the fixes are for the Switch controller, so this can be really helpful. Unfortunately, this option is only available for the PC version of the game. So if you are playing on the phone, you're probably going to have to individually map everything. But there's a lot of features in the Steam section, so if you are playing this way, I highly suggest you go check this out. So now I haven't changed anything in the game yet. Like I didn't go into my settings and change the key bindings, but now you can see I have completely different bindings on the right side because of that Steam layout. Playing on the controller is actually a great experience in this game and it's really cool that you're able to do this on PC and on your phone. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give this video a like to tell YouTube it's a good video so it can be shown to more players like yourself. Also, please subscribe to my channel to see more great guides just like this. Every like and sub goes a really long way, and I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.